I'm at LAX and I'm about to fly with United Airlines on their 787 aircraft to Melbourne. It's uh, my first time on their very fancy Polaris business class product. It's their flagship product, so uh, I'm really looking forward to this one, see what they're like and how they compare to uh, my recent flight with American. The United Lounge in San Francisco is large and bright with great views. The only thing missing are showers. A very big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I'm a strong advocate for education and learning more about things that you're passionate about. Skillshare makes that happen and is offering a free trial for the first 100 people that sign up using the link in the description below. This is Richie and we're, uh, we're about to board. We'll, uh, we'll see you in Melbourne in 15 and a half hours. Sounds good. Cheers. Cheers, here's to a great flight. The business class cabin on the United Airlines 787 is laid out in a 222 configuration, giving six seats across. Everybody has direct aisle access except for the window seats. I like this seat, it was comfortable and practical. There are plenty of adjustment options, and the PowerPoint and USB port are within easy reach. Storage is provided under the entertainment screen and next to the seat. The tray table was functional and later in the flight proved to be a good working surface as I started working on some of my flight videos. After takeoff, a drink was served from the bar followed by dinner. I had the salmon entree followed by the ravioli for mains. Both were absolutely delicious and I accompanied them with a lovely glass of McLaren Vale Shiraz. For dessert, United offers a traditional pastry trolley service with the mini apple pies were delicious. My seat mate had an ice cream sundae complete with a cherry on top. United provide a well designed and well stocked amenities kit in their Polaris business class. They also have an additional menu of items that can be requested to make your flight more comfortable. I highly recommend this, especially the mattress seat cover and of course the PJs. Regular viewers will know that I'm a great fan of airlines that provide pyjamas and I'm a great fan of wearing them. They make the flight so much more comfortable and they keep your clothes cleaner and free. And of course they look great, just look at this. Ta-da! The in-flight entertainment system was pretty good. Noise cancelling headphones were provided and the system could be controlled using either the remote control or the touch screen. There were plenty of choices for movies and TV, however on the audio side of things the only thing on offer were some podcasts. In-flight Wi-Fi was available for purchase, the prices seemed quite reasonable and it worked well. Eventually it was time to sleep and as expected the seat converts into a fully flat bed. So here it is, the money shot of the bed all made up, complete with mattress cover. Time to uh, test out the lay flat bed to see if I can get a good night's sleep. Good night. For the midnight munchies, United have various snacks available, including some more of those little apple pies. Before our arrival in Melbourne, breakfast was served. I went for the continental option, which included fresh fruit, yogurt and cereal. One of the things I really like about the 787 is the larger windows and the electronic window shading system. Looking out the window, there's nothing nicer than capturing that moment after a long trip away when you cross over the Australian coastline. That's when you know you're home. So, how was the Polaris business class? Well, it was certainly a lot better than United's historical reputation. 
They've come a long way and they appear to be making a serious effort to improve their international product. I would say that this flight was on par actually slightly better than the Qantas A380 business class which I think is getting pretty tired these days. It's not quite up to the same standard as the American Airlines 121 configuration but all in all it was an excellent flight and I have no hesitation with flying United Airlines Polaris business class again. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and check out my channel where you'll find a whole lot of other flight reviews and more on the way. I'd also really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As always, happy travels. Take the time to check out Skillshare.com. It's a great online learning community with over 17,000 classes on topics ranging from business and marketing right through to design, video and, and technology. At the moment, I'm working my way through some photography classes led by some fantastic expert photographers. I'm picking up some amazing tips and I can't wait to try them out. With Skillshare, anybody can do a project and take a class. And if you're an expert in the field and there's something you're passionate about, why not become a teacher and you can turn it into an income? Remember that Skillshare is offering 100 of my viewers the opportunity to have a free trial. So click on the link below and check it out. Happy learning and as always, happy travels.